So this time we are going with another function called as for each. Okay, now I'm going to write a different function called as do process, which again accepts the three parameters as we were using earlier. The first one is going to be the value, second is just the index and the array itself. So now I am going to use all of these three in this function. So what I am saying here is array of i equal to v plus 1. Okay, array of i equal to v plus 1. So let me declare an array called a with 20, 30 and 40. Okay, and now I am saying that a dot for each. Now you can see there exists one more method in the array object of JavaScript called for each. And all I can do is just send do process again. Okay, and I am going to alert a. So I am going to alert a prior to executing the for each statement. Okay. So now let us see what's going on. Now this callback method is again getting executed for each and every element available in array A. It is just a method which does not return any value. Previously we used every which returns a boolean either true or false. The other one what we used was filter which will be returning an array based on the filtering of elements. And this one does not really return anything. All it does is just execute the respective function whatever you are going to pass for each and every element available in an array. Okay. So now what I am saying is this do process will be getting executed for each of these three elements available in A. For the first time 20 which means for the value 20 the do process gets executed. Now the do process will have 20 as this is the first position which means the position starts from 0 so i value will be 0 and the whole array a will be available here. Now you are saying that a of 0 equal to v value is 20 here 20 plus 1. So which means a of 0 is going to be replaced with 20 plus 1. This one becomes 21. Next, again for each gets executed for, I mean this one executes the second element by passing the same to do process. Now the value of v will be 30. The value of i will be 1 as because the position starts from 0. a or y will have the entire array. So array of 1 equal to 30 plus 1. So this becomes 31 and similarly this becomes 41. So before executing for each I will be seeing 20, 30, 40 here. And uh, once this statement gets executed I am supposed to see 21 31, 41. 